may have noticed all your favorite YouTube people in Florida are coming back from Helene and Milton and I'm no different so trying to get our back fence up as you can see this helps us lose a bit of our privacy anyway we're just rigging this for now we have a new fence going up in a couple of weeks using my dad's old 52 8 in to get it going and a boom that a guy sold me for 40 bucks <laughs> that's just downright handy man well here's two weeks later about three blocks from the house I know it looks like nothing has been done, but believe it or not, a whole lot has been done. All these houses that look like houses on the outside are just basically shells. There's nothing inside of them. Helene came through 30 days ago, and about a week and a half after that, we had Milton. We're just now getting her Mustang, and the 67 commuter wagon, one owner. Had this stayed in the location where I found it, it would have been totaled. It would have been sitting in that garage safe for 30 years, and then when uh, Milton came through, would have totaled the car. But it stayed here instead out in the country. It was safe and dry. Huge thanks to uh, Kelly and Jason. Man, they hooked us up. <laughs> These Mustangs, so dirty. She keeps it like this. It's always just, I'm kidding. This is driving her crazy. Once this is back at the house, it'll be clean and waxed and put away. I'm gonna stop and get some food on the way home and then get this trailer and uh, car back into the backyard. I still have not been able to find a gas tank for that station wagon. It's just really weird and really rare. But I have about 900 things to do before doing that anyway. When was the last time you saw a Tesla Roadster on the road? I saw that one in space, but I think this may be the first time I've ever seen one. He's out just Cruising home on a Friday afternoon in rush hour. One more quick break in before we get back to the car stuff. <sighs> that thing right there, my grandmother bought it in 1940 in anticipation of my mom being born. Bought it from the next door neighbor used. My mom indeed used that for not only eating meals, but getting haircuts. And then her daughter did, all of her kids did, including myself. And various nieces, nephews, grandbabies. It was painted white sometime back in the 50s. And uh, just a few years ago, my grandmother had it totally redone. Of course, the, the main plate area was rotted away from a whole bunch of Fruit Loops and milk over the years. But that's one of the things that I took from the house because I felt like it had to be saved. There's also a Bentwood rocker that was my grandfather's great-grandfather's. Do the math on that one. Anyway, this is going back in the house safe and sound, just like that wagon. Let's get back to messing with the car. I gotta tell you, I've been in a funk, man. It's been a month since Hurricane Helene came through, followed by, I don't know, about two weeks since Milton. We lost a whole lot of the stuff in our house, big, huge uh, insurance claims and stuff like everyone around us. You've seen the big stacks of everything in everybody's yard. It's been difficult to make content. However, as you've also seen in the last minute or two, all the cars are back at the house. I'm also gonna go to a car show today to see my buddy Norm. If you saw the video of me driving a new Z06, C8 Corvette Z06, or a couple years ago, a brand new C8, uh, it's all been with Norm. He's a good dude. He works at Stingray Chevrolet, and there's a Corvette show there today. We're gonna go check that out. Get out and about. Instead of sitting. That was a bump. You run across bumps, don't you? Let's just get over it and move on and go to a show. A square croissant? Wendy's, what the hell? Anything look unusual about that trailer to you? Anything at all? That's the middle of the trailer. There's a leaf spring perch. <laughs> Let's get this party started, man. Cool little C8. We're going to see a lot of these over here because Stingray is a huge dealer when it comes to Corvettes. You're going to see a lot of these here. And of course, near and dear to my heart, C5 Z06. Millennium Yellow. I have one of those. It's in the garage. It recently got saved from hurricanes. <laughs> I like the rim. 
Mine's an 03. We've got a 79? That's what I'm going to stick with. Ooh, digging the rims on that too. Clutch car. Black, black interior with an L82. It's a nice combo for this year. L82, which arguably was not a huge horsepower advantage over an L48, the base engine, but still cool. A little Roadster 67 is what he's talking about there. There's another 67 coupe right beside it. Ooh, drag car right there. <laughs> I gotta get video of this one. It's an automatic car, but there's that. 427 with three deuces. Look at that hood. One of the best hoods of all time. This is a 68, and I'll tell you how you can identify one. See how there's kind of two handles? There's the one that you push down, then there's this one that your thumb pushes in. 68 is the only one that has that also. You know how, can you tell that there's something that kind of looks like it's missing right there? The Stingray emblem? 68 did not have Stingray emblem, 69 did, so. There's the story on that, and also the 67. There's one way to instantly tell a 67. There's only one year that has this light between the brake lights. Brother, that right there. good man, how are you doing? Good. We didn't realize this was going on today. Once again, that is a 67, because that backup light right there, only year like it. Look at that uh, aviation-inspired door. The seal goes up onto the roof. Another big block car. That triangular air cleaner means it is uh, three two barrels. And those of you who've been at this a while, you'll see that there's orange paint that's been oversprayed under the intake. Believe it or not, that is totally original. That's exactly how it would have been done from GM back in the day. This one normally sits in the showroom. Totally updated, not just the stuff you see, but everything under the car too. It's got fantastic brakes, fantastic suspension. And also, see how you don't see a shifter? Flappy paddle gearbox. There's always really cool stuff here. Oh, Copo. Now, I remember first time I had to have a parachute put on a drag car was 150 mile per hour trap speed in a quarter. And that one does have a parachute. Normally 150 miles per hour comes in the extremely known, uh, the low nine second range. That's probably an eight second car. That's a cool ride. Ratchet tuned. <laughs> GTO, you don't see many of these. That's one of the earlier ones with the just flat hood on it. Cool S10. LS swapped. Clean swap too. That's pretty sweet 62 ragtop. Nineteen seventy. First year for the LT1 engine, 370 horse. Don't know what that is exactly, but that is a 70. A lot of clutch cars back in this era, and that one is one too. Good looking car. No, that's actually uh, got uh, what they call like vortex cylinder heads. See the bolts in the middle of the valve covers. 66, 427. Cool hood, that thing debuted in 65 on the 396. Yeah, I'm that guy that looks at all the cars that are not Corvettes at a Corvette show. <laughs> 66. Oh, that's cool. Two door post. Oh, I love this one. Oh, that's sweet. How are you? Doing well. Oh, man. Oh, that is so cool. Who's got the Corvette valve covers? I guess that counts. Oh, that's nice. A little Stingray over here. 73 ragtop, that's a rare car. My first car was a 73. 
Oh, there's a 69 right there. Krager SS is on it. Aftermarket, updated, upgraded radiator. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Boy, that's a nice blue. I hope that's coming across. Wow. Oof. That is a pretty car. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's uh, just a few days before Halloween 2024, and the high today is supposed to be like 85, but right now it's really pretty. Four-speed car, ragtop, small block. 70 to 72, as evidenced by the little head creek drill. Yeah, Norm was telling me earlier, this guy with the Nova built every single square inch of this. And I'm talking like paint, engine, drivetrain, every little thing. That's hard to find these days. I am on a fact-finding mission. Norm told me earlier there's a brand new Hysteria Purple Corvette in here. Brand new color. Looks blue to me. But I want to see what it looks like to you. There's Steve Hurley's 911. That's a bad ombre. You should hear that thing run, man. Whew, that's a bad dude. Let's see if we can find one of these in here. Stingray Chevrolet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, she blows over there. I think that's it. Is that it? I would hate to take the next few moments looking at this telling you it's purple when it's like a blue. But it sure does look blue. Hmm. Let's look on here and see what it says it is. Uh, I think for shipping purposes, uh, it doesn't really say much on that. That's a shiny critter. Hmm. I want to show you a couple other cars over here. Steve Hurley's kind of a gearhead. Look at that paint and body work. All the cars he has are like crazy low miles, unmolested, or just beautifully restored. Any available sales in the showroom? Yes, waiting. Any available sales in the showroom? Yes, waiting. Eh, mileage. <laughs> mileage, 2,706 total miles. Let's just take a moment and drink that in. <laughs> what do we have here? Chevrolet Corvette Z06 prototype. First Corvette Z06 built at the Corvette built for their prototype number driven at Nurburgring Autobahn. See, like I said, he's got cool toys in here. That's what I was looking for right there, the Coke machine. So the 69 Dart is an exact replica of Steve, our owner's car he had in high school. Oh man. And that 60, is that 66 down there I saw, that's a Hemi car. You have seen, okay, I saw so that one, yeah. Seen, okay. Yeah, so this is 344 speed and doing it up just like it was, uh, just like the car you had in high school. That must be cool. I guess. See, I would just be going, I saw a Porsche one time that was really cool. I'd <laughs> like to have one like that one too. AC car. Yep. Actually, Aaron just put AC in it, put four wheel disc brakes on it. Uh, that's about it. Craig's, AC, brakes, tires, SS is forever. What's it? Oh, yes. Craig's on everything. Craig's on everything. Only spell them correctly. 
Yeah. Craig Everybody Otto. uses an E. It's like, don't make me come over there. Hell yeah, dude. It's having a turn signal issue. Looks like you got the transmission figured out. Went ahead and put a four-speed in it. Yeah, it had that. Came with it. It's a 340, you said? 344. Look at that hood, man. Where, oh, where is the Hysteria Purple Corvette? I don't see a Hysteria Purple. And we're back in the showroom now. We've still not found the Hysteria Purple Corvette. We found that sexy mother. Ooh. Yeah. They say there is one. I'm starting to doubt it. All right, the competition yellow vet should be out here too. All right, let's take a moment. We already knew that if you order something through here, there's no markup on even the most desirable Corvette ever. No dealer fee either. Yeah, that just started. That's what I was going to ask you about. Competition yellow. That's it. Is that it? Boy, that That's looks it. like it. That's yeah. It. Now, see, that looks purple. That, yeah. That, blue yeah. Oh man, you can see the pearl on the fender. Yeah, you can see it on the flat surfaces as the sun goes. But yeah, that's definitely purple. Boy, on the on the post that the National Corvette Museum did, it looked absolutely it looked, blue. I thought. See, I thought the post in the National Corvette deal. I thought it looked more purple. And this just seems like a bluish purple. So this but is kind cool. of it's a cool color. This is kind of a base car besides the color. It is a because it's got the regular. Uh, it's a two LT. Yeah, and it goes. Is there still a four LT or no? Three. One, two, and three. And that uh, the L becomes a Z if it's a Z06 trim option, or what's? How does that yeah, change? So LZ one. one? No, one LT, oh, still so, two LT, three LT. Even if oof. it's a Z06. I like that color. I'm not mad at it. You remember the blazer color that they had in like the little round blazers in the, the 90s that yep. was kind of purpley? Yep. That's still a great looking car. I have another video on the channel of uh, taking a C8 Z06 out for a drive. I became a man that day. That wasn't very fun at all. I felt feelings I had never imagined. And it's kind of that's the pretty much bringing back uh corvette racing yellow but they call it competition yellow yeah it's they've had millennium yellow competition yellow and accelerate yellow accelerate yellow yeah. but this is when you put accelerate next to this this is very very yellow Ooh, that is pretty wow z51 boy these days everybody it's like everybody all of a sudden realized that Z51 was really cool and everybody wants that. Yeah. Except for the guys that put Z51 stickers on it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> this is kind of a weird build because it's a Z51, but it does not have the Z51 wing. The white car has a Z51 wing on it. Oh, okay. And from what I understand, that Z51 wing was the only one that was ever actually wind tunnel tested and is effective. Like these are just, these are more for you know aesthetics and show, but if, that wing is works. I'm going to ask you a question that I ask people now and then. Mm -hmm. If you had one car, your life went terribly wrong. You're running from the cops. If you had one car, truck, vehicle, whatever it is, except like a tank, what would you want to try to outrun the cops with, and why? 2025 tracks. <laughs> That was a really quick answer. Like you very, very contemplated affordable. this. They're very affordable and has a turbo. Is it like able to drive over stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a Trax is. <laughs> I don't even know what a Trax is. Like, is that is that a, a collector edition Corvette Here's or something? I don't know what a Trax is. It's a joke. <laughs> okay. I I feel like I've kind of let you down by not knowing how to identify a Trax. Is it like a small SUV? Yeah. It's a sun compact SUV. I've tried, I've built it, I've done a build, the build a price tool on Chevrolet.com. I've never been able to get one of these over $28,000. Loaded. These are Traxxas. These things kick ass. That one looks like an updated version of the Walter White Mobile. Whatever, man. These things are awesome. Affordable. You reliable. said, you said flat freaking loaded. They're 28. Out the door. Well, why would we get this one? We could get a Hornet. 
<laughs> Every video you see, it's like, we've got hundreds of them. We don't know what to do with them, please. And we need another hurricane. All we need is a hurricane. <laughs> get a brother, get a hurricane. We finally got to see it. Hysteria. Oh. Stingrays over there going, how you like me now? I done fired up now. What you gonna do? Oh, the Z06. What a glorious automobile. Oh, it can't sound as good on the phone as it sounds in person. That thing is the sex. Well, that's my trip today. Say bye, Norm. Later, Tater. Going home, see if I can find some cool stuff on the trip home. I had to show you guys this on the way out. Cadillac XLR. Got a buddy Eric who's got one of those in a blue that's just gorgeous. Has this real light cream interior. Whew. But you and I are going back to the truck, seeing if we can find some cool stuff on the way back home. Nice visit though, right? What did you think of the Hysteria Purple? Did you know the color I was talking about when I said it reminded me of the old blazer color from the like mid 90s? What in the hell? Peach candy lemon. I'm gonna just go with the old standby here. It just occurred to me that I've never stopped at Gillespie's Auto Parts and Service tune up. No. <laughs> I'll show you what I just saw. Here's why I think it may not be a functional shop. Can you see? <laughs> What the heck? Looks like they just left one day. They built this thing new though. Hmm. Yeah, wide open. There's no roof. Fan belt on the back wall. New wiper blades. This is interesting. I wonder what the deal is with this. Looks like maybe a junkyard outback. Packard or Kaiser Packard. He says what the hubcap says. Packard had some sweet cars, dude. Go look up like a late 20s Packard and look at the grill. Look at that tail light. That's cool. Packard Patrician or Patrician or Quadraport. <laughs> See that? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. The doorknob or the doorknob, the door handle was on that chrome strip. I assumed it would be down there and I was thinking, what? Now that is a hood ornament. truck and drive down this way a little bit. Standard cab Ford Dooley. Cool little utility truck over there. They have a real Jeep hanging out back here. Had a couple of those back in the day, roll bar in them and stuff. Either the inline six, well, inline six was the one to have. Other kind of normal stuff over there, lots of RVs. Dodge Twuck. <laughs> Taurus. Legendary. Big Dodge over there. Look how short the wheelbase. Back side of the Jeep you just looked at. And a white 4000. Boy, that thing is a beast. Can you imagine what that's towed? Look at the size of just the frame rails. Just the wheel chocks. Thinnest piece of metal on there is a half inch thick. 
Home 750. Everything's just cables, man. No hydraulics. Just gear reduction. Let's get back out on the road. School bus down there brings back terrible memories of my childhood. Gonna make a quick stop at my legendary, world famous picnic grocery store. Not really a grocery store in the truest of terms. Not a super center. It's the picnic grocery. They actually have some pretty good stuff in here. Barbecue sandwiches. Well, was, there was that one that when I ate it, it had like a like a pig knuckle or something in it. That was less than optimal. Let's go inside and check out this place. Give myself a barbecue pig knuckle. Looks like they had some water. Mystic Orange Mango, freaking classic. This is where we get back to what I have to do now to the cars. This radius arm broke the pin. Well, not really the pin, but it broke the piece on top where that mounts. You see that there? Just totally ripped it off. These are really cheap, but you just have to find one. They're like 20 bucks. Also the wagon, <sighs> like what the hurricane did. The, uh, the wagon, there's the uh, gas tank for it. It's this weird shape and it has its fuel sender down in, in like a very odd position. And this one's totally smoked. The bottom several inches are just crud. And it fits in that area right there. That's the last thing keeping this from being driven daily. I'll keep you updated on it, man. But if you guys know anybody who can build a tank economically or if they have any ideas this should be the same one in a country squire station wagon not sure about the four doors but uh this is a 67 mercury commuter wagon and it's gotta be out on the road again i mean look at it come on now you know i used to smoke back in the day it's been uh, decades since i smoked and uh those of you who are smokers 129 a pack when I stopped, they were 85 cents a pack. Can you, can you even imagine how much money I've saved? Only to squander it on cars. <laughs> oh well. Is it truly a bad investment? No. No, it's not. 